Russell Wilson, the runner-up to the top player in the NFL, according to our experts. How much does he need that second ring? A lot. He really needs it because Russell Wilson, on the one hand, there's a perception of him. And then on the other hand, there's the reality. The reality is he's an all-time great. But because he's short, because he's mobile, because, and came into the league at a time right before that was fashionable, right? Well, he's too small to play. Well, you got to be, you got to stand in the pocket and take hits for some stupid reason instead of moving around and picking up yards outside the pocket or keeping, your, you know, using your legs to avoid stuff and keeping your eyes down the field and completing big plays. Like, why not do both, right? Well, he, so he came along a little early from that, and now we're in an era with a couple of guys who make his athletic ability not the thing that you just go crazy about. Like, he's not the athlete Lamar Jackson is, for example, and he's not going to put up the numbers or is as impressive as Patrick Mahomes. And so he's straddling those two eras as a great quarterback in both. And because of all that, the perception never caught up to him. Early in, into the reality of how great he is, early in his career, he was, it was like, well, the defense is really doing that. And he's a good game manager who has some ability, can make things happen when you need him to. But they're really riding that defense. And look what happened when they went away from that. They lost the Super Bowl on, a, on an interception thrown by Russell Wilson. Why not let, uh, you know, Beast Quake take that in and uh, Marshawn Lynch take that in and, and, and not make it about Russell Wilson because they paid him that money. They wanted it to be about him and he can't handle it. Like, there's that stuff going around about Russell Wilson. But the reality is, he's just about as great as anyone who ever did it. It doesn't come out of his hand as pretty as like Aaron Rodgers or guys like that. But year in and year out, he's right there among the very best. And if you look at his career and compare it to the all-time greats through the first, through, how was it, seven, eight seasons now, Russell Wilson's got much better numbers than like Tom Brady did. And the fact that he's second to Brady and wins, well, he's not being coached by Bill Belichick, res respect to Pete Carroll, but he ain't Bill Belichick. So Tom Brady has raised the standard. It used to be you need a Super Bowl or sorry, Jim Kelly, your name doesn't come up enough, right? Sorry, Dan Marino, you can't be considered the greatest, even though our eyeballs say maybe he was. Mm -hmm. But Brady raised the stakes. First Montana and then Brady. Now so many Super Bowl rings. You can't really be talked about in that uppermost echelon of greatest of all time with just one nowadays. You need another. And it would validate him for the people who don't really get how great he is. And, and, and that, that narrative has always been out there about him. It's starting to change. But I think he really needs another one to cement his legacy. Russell Wilson not trying to be second best to anybody ever. He's trying to be as good as he can be, and I'm sure he's competitive and thinks no one's better than me. And, and without a second Super Bowl, he won't be remembered that way. Well, one day you'll be kind enough to leave at least one side to the rest of us. But since you're not, I'm just going to ignore that. And I'm going to tell you that bottom line is, is that there ain't no way in hell what side did I you believe like that, that I he needs a second championship. I'm just saying, you took so many. I'm just saying, you did. You explained everything. Leave something to the rest of us. All That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, here's what it comes down to. When you talk about a second championship, I do not believe that Russell Wilson needs it. I only think he needs it for people who don't know football. Anybody who's got any any inkling about what football, what comes with football, and what football entails will know that Russell Wilson does not need another championship to cement his legacy as one of the great quarterbacks this game has ever seen. The man is absolutely phenomenal. And when you look at what he's at, that I, and by the way, nobody blames him for that damn interception in the Super Bowl. Everybody blames Pete Carroll and Daryl Bevel, who called, whoever the hell, which one of them caught the damn play, because it never should have been caught to begin with. You should have gave the ball to beast mode. Marshawn Lynch, who was wreaking havoc that entire second half, give him the damn football, and you got a two-time Super Bowl champion in the Seattle Seahawks. Plain and simple. But they made that idiotic call and told Russell Wilson to throw the damn football in that play, and, 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 and Malcolm Butler made a tremendous play, and as a result, they lost the damn Super Bowl. In the end, here's what it comes down to. Russell Wilson, his decision-making, his mobility, Ability, his ability to throw the football, his ability to, you know, go through his progressions, read defense, things of that nature. 
This brother has proven what he can do. And over the last several years, since the Legion of Boom has dissipated before flat out evaporating, he has held this franchise afloat. In his eight years there, the man has only missed the playoffs once. He's been absolutely phenomenal. And then now this year, not only is he going to have DK Metcalf and, 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 Ty, and Tyler Lockett and more, but they just acquired Greg Olson because he's no longer a Carolina Panther. He signed with them now. So now you've got production from the tight end spot, which we all know serves as somewhat of a security blanket, which Brady taught us with Gronk, and he's going to teach us again with Gronk, O.J. Howard, Cameron Brake, and those boys. So the way I look at it, I think that Russell, Westbrook, uh, Russell Wilson, I'm sorry, is a stud. I think that he has proven he's a stud. He's going to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. He's won a Super Bowl championship. And the bottom line is we're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers, and we should because he's a bad man. The bottom line is we should be talking about Russell Wilson, too. I don't believe he needs, the operative word is need, a second championship. It'd be nice if he got one. He deserves it. But the operative word is need. He does not need the second championship. <laughs> Stop saying need like that. Listen, man, I, I have to, I yours, tend to agree with I tend to agree. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I tend to agree with Stephen A on this one, though, man. I like I, I think sometimes and, and Max, you have a point with saying what Montana and Brady did, but I think sometimes it gets a little convoluted about how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. We lose sight of that because we've seen six be won now in nine, nine attempts. We see Patrick Mahomes almost go to two in his first couple of years of starting as a quarterback. But when you look at Russell Wilson, man, there is, there is nothing left. Like, if Russell Wilson retired right now, legitimate argument to be a Hall of Famer, number one, if not already a Hall of Famer. But if you also look at the course of his career, Name me the receiver that Russell Wilson has had that a lot of these other guys have. He's made every single guy he's played with better. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.